Hi, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Michelle Terrace. I'm with Hashtag Jexit. And I'm with one of my teammates over here, Sophia. And we're having a discussion on the, um, the prototypical Democrat mindset. And we just want to get a little bit inside and to discover um, what's going on in their minds. So what do you think, Sophia? Well, we're talking about how um, the Democrats today don't perceive the anti-Semitism that's rising around the world the anti-Semitism that is directed at Israel, the anti-Israel sentiment. And so it's very scary because we have a lot of Democrats who are well-meaning people, who are moderate, who are not on the extreme socialist agenda of uh, many of the politicians today on the left. And yet these people are so allergic to the idea of Donald Trump, be it because they lived in New York or they've just been liberal their whole lives and, and they can't understand what he's doing, but um, I think that to be able to reach them and explain to them that the new anti-Semitism is manifested through criticism of Israel, I think that's very important. Basically, they're disguising anti-Semitism with anti-Israel, and yes. it's one in, in and of the same, especially right. me being, you know, we're, we're Jewish, and we can't understand how they could look at us that way and per their perception is that there that it has nothing to do with being a Jew and it's very it's very offensive and it's very scary because there's an undertone from history repeating itself with that same type of rhetoric um, but what is what do you think is going on with these uh, Democrats the, the the Jews in particular with how they identify and relate to their party and their their loyalty and their allegiance to their party is some somehow when we recognize that it's kind of kind of leading them off of a cliff well i think we're talking about good people who um you know at the very beginning have good values and they're talking about human rights and kindness and freedoms and and protection and i don't know at what point the party moved away from those ideas because the Democrats that I know are good people. I, I don't know a lot of the Antifa extremists out there, but I do know a whole bunch of good people who fail to understand what's going on right now, especially with the Sangla with Israel. And um, those people are well-meaning, and they've been taught maybe that, um, I've heard this, that Republicans are selfish, that they don't want to share, that we don't want to help others. And um, so I, I run into a lot of these um, misconceptions. Right, and that's, yeah. that's where, what I like to do is challenge their, their, their mindset by asking them to think outside of the box, to uh, reflect on what their values are and you know their core values and what what they care about what mean what they what means a lot to them i know our country means a lot to them so they i, I try to want to i try to challenge them to think um to think uh, independently and uh you know get in touch with those values and then look and see if their party is in fact aligned with their values and because of the fact that the party has moved so far left and they're right where they were should be able to give them that ability to see really what's happening. Well, I think that historically the problem has been, and I think if we're looking at World War II, um, the problem was a fear of white supremacy, and rightfully so, because nobody likes supremacists. Um, but what's happening in today's world is because of the voting power of the people who migrated into Europe and into the Americas and all over the world, who migrated from Islam, I think that there is a um, rise of anti-Semitism, for example, all over Europe, but that anti-Semitism is not coming from the white supremacists as much as it is coming from a Muslim population that absolutely hates the Jews. And now I'm not saying all Muslims hate the Jews, but we're talking about, you know, we have to, to paint a, a broader picture here and go by generalities if we want to make a point. And the problem being that because of the voting power of these people, the Jews have been abandoned. 
And a lot of the anti-Semitism all over the world now is not coming from the white supremacists, but it is coming from the 1.7 billion Muslims who are now all over in Europe and here voting against the interests of the state of Israel. And what's good for Israel is good for the rest of the world. People sometimes forget that important point that uh, that they're our greatest ally and share our same yes. values. So it's extremely important that people, not just Jews, recognize this in the world. Well, of course. I mean, we're talking about uh, our Judeo-Christian civilization. We're talking about the Western values that our society was built upon. And right now, it seems that people are trying to change the definitions to divide us. And to me, the most important thing is we can't get rid of extremists. There are extremists. You know, we, we talk about the white supremacists. Those people are on both sides. They're on the right. They're on the left. You can't Correct. get rid of them. But they're not the largest number that are causing a problem right now. The problem is actually coming from a far greater number of people who are going against Israel with the BDS movement and um, seeing even in Congress trying to uh, label um, Israel like Nazi Germany. And we do recognize one thing, that these Democrats don't really want socialism. But the socialism that they're being, that's being dangled in front of them isn't they don't understand what it really is. And you coming from the background you come from, you have a much greater, um, you lived it yeah. and you understand it. So in, um, in all actuality, we're going to have to really take our time to explain and educate and give these examples as, you know, as we go along to of try course. to help. And, and try you know, to explain to people that with also with the rise of socialism, you know, no country started like Venezuela. No country started like communist Romania. Everybody started with a good idea, and it snowballs into something else. And so we're here to educate not only against anti-Semitism, but also against the rise of socialism, which is very dangerous to our freedoms and to our future. So in closing, I think that we're here not only to educate people about the rise of anti-Semitism, but also about the dangers of flirting with socialism because none of the countries that we see suffering under socialism today started that way. Venezuela didn't start wanting to be the way it is today. Communist Romania, everything started with a good idea meant to help people and then it snowballed because it's simply just a bad system. So if you want to know more about what we do, you can find us at... You can find us on our Facebook page, hashtag Jexit, that's hashtag J-E-X-I-T, or visit us on our website, jexitusa.org, and you can also find us on Twitter at Jexit4, the number four, Trump. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.